So we got sting versus gladiator one. Now, remember everybody, we're not too far removed from the whole bill Watts acquisition. So sting is coming to us from mid South. He doesn't quite yet have the, the traditional flat top, but he's got a crazy haircut that includes a rat tail. Tony, when's the last time you used to sport a rat tail? Uh, probably in college. Wow. You had a rat tail in college. No, I didn't dumbass, but okay. I thought I'd, I thought I'd uh, hit you with a dumbass answer to a dumbass question. No, I thought it would have been fun if you walked around college with a rat tail and then a pocket full of kitty litter, just dry them up real good. Mm. <laughs> where do you come up with this shit? And where did you come up with that Lucha Libre sweater? Uh, it's not a sweater. It's a poncho. Oh my God. You're you, yes. Look at that. You you're Clint this Eastwood. Was, it's the good, was, the bad and the ugly. Yeah, this was a Christmas present from Dave Silva Jones. Wow. Uh, he, he got me one and Cassio one, and I think he has one. So that looks. Nice. Thought, you know what? Let me uh, yeah. let me wear it on one of my wrestling podcasts. Which one am I comfortable looking like an idiot on? <laughs> I threatened to wear this in public, and my wife uh, right. threatened to stay home. So <laughs> yeah, I wore it over to my parents last night to play cards, and uh, when I got out of the car and and reached in the back seat to put it on, she just looked at me and tilted her head like, "Are you fucking serious?" And we're just going to see my mom and dad. Mm-hmm. So I can only imagine what the re- reaction would be if I said, mm-hmm. Hey, you want to run down to the grocery store and find some fun meat for us to grill tonight? Let's go together. And then I put this on. Mm-hmm. She'd be like, no, I'll go. Just yeah. tell me what cuts you want. I'll get it. Oh, I think I just figured out what to do to get out of shit in public. Just tell my wife, I'm going to wear this. That would work, dude. Yeah. A home run. Absolutely. Look at that kid with all those pins. So grandma hooked his ass up and yeah. nobody was happier than the, the guys at the gimmick table. And of course, you know, now, uh, we would show you how you could get them for yourself. But back then we had no idea. No. That's exactly right. Tony. I did say that's exactly right. David. At the very beginning, and I was like, that might be one of the first exactly rights. And Jim Ross said it was one of, going to be one of the biggest main events in, in, in TBS history. He did. So he said that before I did. Just and you stole that too, damn it. <laughs> yeah, look at look at Sting. Sting uh, Sting ahead of his time now, doing, uh, doing a lot of talking to the camera and running his mouth. Now they do it all the fucking time. It's cool to see early Sting. Just as a reminder, Sting is not yet a made man. He's still trying to find his spot. You know, I don't mean for this to be disrespectful somewhere in the middle Mm -hmm. and here uh, up against WrestleMania coming up in March, this is just January. So we're two months away. He's going to wrestle the nature boy, Ric Flair at the very first clash of the champions to a time limit draw and sting becomes a made man as a result. Yeah. Yeah. So we are, as you said, we are a pre big star sting. And I think the great thing about Sting was as a person, when he became a big star, uh, it didn't change him. Now, of course, uh, I don't have that much to, to base it on because when I started in wrestling, the guys who wrestled were already big stars like right. Wahoo, but Sting is probably one of the few ones that I can recall that I watched become a star as I was in the business. So it was, it was pretty cool <laughs> to see that. Road words already stars. Nikita had, I guess I saw Nikita become a, a, but he became a big time heel, I guess, during my watch as well, if I can call it that. Stinger Second Splash. Mm-hmm. And the Scorpion right after 1988. And guess what? You're in for a treat. I don't know if you've previewed this show in a while, but mm-hmm. we're going to see something pretty special happen. Look at Sting. 